Do people of Burlington have more fun because they have more shopping options? Probably yes. This is Nune and Boston Area Homes. If you're new here, I talk about real estate in Boston and the suburbs. So if it's something that interests you, consider subscribing. Okay, let's go. Burlington is ranked A plus town and 42nd best suburb to live in Massachusetts by niche.com. It is 12 miles from Boston and is one of the fastest growing towns in the greater Boston area. Burlington has a population of about 28,000 and its neighbors are Bedford, Billerica, Wilmington, Woburn, and Lexington. Burlington is also only half an hour away from New Hampshire and one hour from the main border. Here are my pros of living in Burlington. Burlington has a rich industrial history and continues to be a suburban industrial town with lots of companies calling it home, including Keurig, Nuance, Microsoft, Oracle, and others. A large part of Burlington is devoted to businesses and commercial use. The many companies in Burlington pay taxes, so for residents, the taxes are much lower than their many neighbors. Burlington tax is $9.95 per thousand, and in the most surrounding suburbs, taxes are between $9 and $13 per thousand. Burlington is also a shopper's paradise, with malls such as Burlington Mall, shops at Simmons Park, the 3rd Avenue and Wayside Commons. Burlington has more stores than any nearby town. When I need to go shopping for clothes or home goods, I go to Burlington. Burlington Mall is popular with locals and residents from close by towns who will drive more than 30 minutes sometimes to shop here. With 176 stores, shopping is fun in Burlington Mall and you can take a break and have delicious coffee and croissants at Cafe Nero or have lunch or dinner at the food court. Nordstrom, Primark, Macy's, and high-end stores like Michael Kors, Kate Spade, and Tory Burch call it a home here too. There are plenty of jobs for youth and adults in Burlington. You don't have to go far. With so many companies calling Burlington home, it is easy to find a job here, be it at the food or service industry or in high-tech industry. There are so many jobs available for all ages. Burlington has easy access to Route 95 and Route 3. You can be in Boston in about 30 minutes with no traffic. MBTA bus routes as well as Lexpress or Beeline buses run through the town. You can take the bus to any of the closest subway stations like the LOI station in Cambridge and you can take the trains to Boston. Burlington has six public schools, four elementary, one middle and one high school. Burlington is also home to satellite campus of Northeastern University. Burlington High School is ranked 142nd in Massachusetts by the U.S. News High School Rankings. There is so much to do here. Burlington has 11 main parks like the Mary Cummings Park. Burlington Town Common and Siemens Park are located in the center of the town and have many opportunities for exercise and recreation. There is even an indoor ice skating rink located in the Burlington Ice Palace. So many choices of restaurants in Burlington. You can go to Row 34 if you like delicious seafood and get delectable and fresh oysters or buttery lobster rolls. Black and Blue Steak and Crab is famous for its delicious steaks and American cuisine. Or go to the Japanese Okipoke on the 3rd Avenue for customizable poke bowls. Pressed Cafe and Tony C Sports Bar are favorite hangout places. AMC Burlington Movie Theater has 10 theaters where they show latest hits and occasionally live from the Met opera performances. You also have lots of choices when it comes to grocery shopping. Wegmans, Trader Joe's, Market Basket, Target and Shaw's. 
Burlington has the Leahy Hospital and Medical Center, so residents don't have to drive to Boston to get high-quality medical care. Here are the two cons of Burlington. One is the rising housing prices. The average sale price of a single-family home in the last three months was $897,000. Average for a condo was $738,000. There are very few multifamilies in Burlington. It is primarily a town of single-family homes. It's still much more affordable, though, than many towns closer to Boston. Burlington is not as close to Boston as other towns like Newton or Watertown. If you like this video, you will like my other videos about other towns in Massachusetts. And make sure to reach out to me with any questions you might have. Wow, what a windy day. Woo!